Hi guys, well, welcome to Calorie Book Club. Thank you for being here today. Well, today is our final part of Beauty of Horror. It's page 66 and 67. It's the first book. I'm using Prismacolor. And I have the cat, the bat, and the mat <coughs> to go. And just a couple of other little things. Anyway, so to start off with, I'll just finish off this little bit of stonework here. So I got most of it done off stream and a little bit up on the window frame. And then we can get on with the other bits and pieces. Okay, so what I'm doing is the cat sat on the mat. <laughs> Yeah. How you doing, darling? Hang on, I'll zoom in. There we go. All right, I'm using Jade Green 1021, 70% cool grey 1065, and 70% warm grey 1056. So that won't take me long to get these two done. Hey, baby, baby, you had a good weekend. Did you have a good week. Been a pretty quiet one here. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing okay. Feeling tired, so I've been resting. Oh, why are you tired? Hang on, there's a pencil missing. Why didn't I write that down? I don't know. 70% French grey as well. I don't know why I didn't write that down. Sorry, oh, uh, yep, okay, darling, yep. That's very true. So I ended up going to the pokies for a while. I'm not a pokies person, I actually hate them. But, um, we had a couple of friends were going last night. They had a rock and roll thing on at Port Arlington Golf Club. So a few went to that. I didn't go to that. So about nine o'clock, picked up a girl and we went over. Played pokies for a while. And like I said, I do hate them. I'm not a fan of them. Ah, big mistake. <laughs> Machines are absolutely terrible. None of them will pay it out. Just make these cracks a bit more prominent. See the hell in the flat line. So I didn't get home till because they friends like to stay till 
some stumps, till it closes. Um, because apparently in the last 15 minutes I start playing. Well, I'd already done mine by then. And even then they were playing. And there was only the three of us in there. <laughs> At the end, everyone else had left. <laughs> Tommy, how you going, darling? Thank you for being here. So, yeah, anyway, by the time we got home, it was like 1.30 or something, it was late. And then set the alarm for this morning. And it's like, oh, God, I'm going to get up. Yeah, I'm just going to use the blender and just smooth this out a little bit. I've written the stone skirting, jade green, cool grey and warm grey. And I was using black along the board. I don't know what I've done there. Anyway, that's what I wrote down. That's what I was using. I don't know. That'll do. That's that done. All right. Now put them away. Green. Gray. Now for oh, the paneling, twenty percent warm gray. I think someone's been playing with my pencils. I had them separated. <laughs> and I think someone's been playing with them and they've mingled them in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, certainly hope not. Thirty percent French grey, espresso. I don't know what I've done here. Twenty percent warm, twenty percent warm grey. Yeah, twenty percent warm grey, seventy percent French grey, and black. Right, that's the three I was using. Okay, right, I've got it now. So for these few panels here, seventy percent French grey, Get most of this done, hopefully. Do my best anyway. Black, the black needs sharpening. Sorry about the table.
Oh, here comes the munchkin again. Hello, Smitty Turner. Well done. <laughs> what are you doing, horror? Can't see. <laughs> Smitty Turner. <laughs> Back to the fridge away from it. <laughs> and twenty percent warm grey. Just bring those colours in a bit. Yeah, I'm not doing shading under here because the arm's not up against the panel. I only use the blender again. French grey. Hey, Kimmy. Beating fast. Yeah, we're all praying for you, darling. I want to run this bit to make sure there's nothing going on still. Keep back. Oh. <laughs> Honey and Roxy, what have they been up to? Bit of a lie there. Just blend that in a bit. There we go. See, I'm just doing it now. I sort of, yeah, they turned out pretty much the same. I hope. <laughs> All right, I might keep the French grey. Ah, uh, the warm grey. Black. <laughs> I have fixed this feed up and it's still creaking. It drives me up the wall. Alright, I'll that one in there. Now, for the window frame, I've got Ginger Root 1084, 30% French Grey 1070, Bronze 1028, Light Umber 941. Tuscan Red 937 and Espresso 1099. <laughs> God, you know, if they do this, I want to get on to what's going on and then I'm going to turn it around and it'll be much easier. Okay, now this is just a bit random. I haven't done the wood exactly the same all across, I don't think. 
similar output. I'm not that fussed about it. So that's my umber. And then a bit of espresso just to make a couple of them a bit darker. Like I'm going to tidy that up a bit. Um, no, not Tuscan. Back to the light bomb. Yeah, I've got these other colours here, but I'm just being a bit lazy. Base head. Maybe a bit of Tuscan in there. Mm. I've been a bit lazy with this. So, just to make the light umber a bit darker, so the wood's not all the same. Bronze. Yeah, I did have ginger root, but it was mainly for the light areas, just a bit, a bit of glow down near the, near the moon shining through. And I was thinking about the floor, and by rights, this should be down on the mat, um, with the light from the moon shining through. But I don't know if it'll look a bit funny or not. Alright, that'll do for them, I'm not going to fuss about them too much. Oops. There we go. Hey, Mona. Yeah, stay positive. No, it's easier said than done. Yeah. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, darling. How's Roxy and Honey? I hope they haven't been getting up to too much more mischief. <laughs> it's not so I mean, they haven't done this. Yeah. Yeah. It is a long time to wait. Um, I'm shut up, chair. I'll pick that one too. It's Oh my goodness. I'll have to get the WD-40 out again. Now, okay. 
I did this one at the back and I don't like it at all. Um, her ribbon. So, she's got all different ones as far as I'm concerned because I'm not doing it that colour again. I need a dark grey. Alrighty. 30% French grey. Thank you for being here. Uh, try not to get it. I want to check this out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Sharpen. Put my little froggy down somewhere that Belinda sent me. I'm not sure where he's at the moment. He's down there somewhere. I have to find him. Now I need something darker. Seventy per cent warm grey one oh five six. And keep those grays for a minute. Um, what do his eyes are real? Ice blue. Okay, blue slate one oh two four. Indigo blue one uh, nine oh one. And I might do hit those two. Build a real yucky car. <laughs> Black raspberry. <laughs> Not one I use a real lot. All right. Uh, blue slate bone two four. Oh, thank goodness for that load on. Doing pretty good, thank you. That's good to know. Um, 
Goodness me, guys. Blue slate, right, indigo. Yeah, um, black raspberry, you know, this will look like. So the other day, oh yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday morning I think I was doing a bit of this. Heat Wesley had been outside and we've had heaps of rain and got clay soil. So he came inside, jumped up on the table and walked across and of course I've got a, a few more. I put blood stains on the carpet but I've also got a few clay marks in, in amongst it and he walked on. He walked on the dog, but the I can still see it. it. Doesn't matter. It just adds to it, actually. But just got the cream pencil and cleaned it up a bit. But yes, we've got a couple of cat paw marks. <laughs> oh, you go pretty up for your knee surgery on Tuesday. Oh, it's getting close, Kimmy. Hey Pam, thank you for being here, darling. Um, no, but I think some is just a colour. There were a few on there. There were a few on there. Glad it is okay. Yep. Um, I found one on another site. I like to send a pic. Hang on, be right back. You're a little nervous, but you have to have it done. Yeah, absolutely do, darling. Um, Yes, you do. Put a lot in together, that looks like. All right. Blue slate. Yeah, you get that knee done, you'll feel a whole lot better walking around, especially if it's bone on bone or. I want a real light blue, doesn't matter which one really. Um, 1023, I think it's either powder, hang on, powder blue, cloud blue. <laughs>
1987 powder blue. And just to balance it out, I'll use the black raspberry 1095. I've been a little bit uh, lazy, a little bit quick. Get this done. Part four, just for the frills on the outside, they blend in with the brickwork. <laughs> and then comes horror again. The door's shut, so he's probably not happy about that. If he goes outside and comes in, did what he did yesterday, might be happy. Bloody clay footprints all across the table. Now I'm going to get black because it blends in with the brickwork a bit too much just there. That'll do for his for hair, tie, ribbon. All right, now for the cat. Now I'll do some of the cat on stream and probably the rest off, otherwise it might just take too long. But I'll use 20% warm gray. Oh, we're a little social butterfly this morning. And Not Pam, you're a nurse. <laughs> He's a cutie, all right. Um, yep. But base Sienna one o eight o. Might add oh we really like that very much. Um seventy percent French grey. And I'm just going to mingle them up a little bit. Back to twenty percent warm grey and then just blend. Blend the colours in a little bit. And then a very light one. 30% uh, French grey. Still think that's a little bit dark. Shut up, too. 10% French grey might be better. It's probably similar to the colour that's on, on there, but just I don't want the bones too dark. And now it doesn't really match up. Mm. 
into that one. <clears throat> so base sienna 1080, 30% French grey 1070, 10% French grey 1060, 20% warm grey 1051, and 70% French grey 1074. Let me see how we go with those colours. 70% French grey. Just some marks on the bones and Now, I could take the time and do the dot in the cap and go over with some Posca, white Posca or something, but yes, it's that would take a while. <laughs> it probably look better than having the black print. Just thinking, better to take take ages. <laughs> I think I'll just leave him. Now we'll see how we go. Now I'll leave those pencils. That's going to be for the cat. And what colour will I do his pendant? I did do the other one red. Anyway, I'll do his do his mouth. Alright, uh, Tuscan Red 937. Um, just around the gums a little bit too. I can't even make it. Not just a blunder in his mouth. He just had dinner. Whatever that might be. <laughs> Between the teeth. I'm going to use just a little bit of black raspberry just to darken it up a bit.
50% French grey, 1072. And some clay rows, one oh one seven. Back to oh, I've got it in my hand, but I haven't used it. Mahogany red, one oh two nine. Now he's got his tongue. He's also got a bit of gum showing there. So I don't want those to blend in. Um, Clay Rose 1017. And just around the very base of his teeth. Yeah, he's got gums up the top as well. Clay Rose. Mahogany. A little bit of Tuscan in there just to make it a bit dark when you feel closer. Especially around the teeth. Although they're looking a bit dead because they're skeletons, so I don't know how they've got any colour. But like I said, I suppose they've just had dinner. <laughs> now he's also got. Um, I'll use chocolate. He's got his mouth and the open. Shut up, Jinxie. I think that's a bit of gum as well. Not sure what that is. It's not a tooth. All right, that'll do. From his mouth, just want to tidy that up a bit. I want it a bit darker. Oh, 
I'll give it a bit of wood. Now yeah, for that. Now we use blues, but I don't know what colours. Ah, oh, hang on. Um, his medallion. Alrighty, now yeah, this should be sharp. You realise you know close to each other, guys. Um, Scarlet Lake nine two three, and Crimson Lake nine two five. Might be in a blue the indigo. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of muted turquoise one oh eight eight. Grab my baby white out. <laughs> Time to go and get another one. <laughs> Just about. That is so fun, but I would like to express it. But this needs to be so fun. Now it's just 90% warm grey, just to define the tip is so fine and Christmas is soft. Just a bit of a mark there. Grab the pasta. Shut up, GC. Shut up. Yeah, 
just fucked that up completely. Come on, let's do the bladder. <laughs> just, yeah, I'll have you that there. <laughs> Oops, hang on, wrong pencil. Hey, I'm just mucking that up. Anyway, I'll leave that. <laughs> I'll do. Sorry, I should have zoomed in for that. It's driving me crazy and I don't have time to go. Have to get Roxy and Honey. Takes 26 hours to drive from Michigan to where Florida. Oh goodness. It will take me two days to drive to Florida from New York. Oh my goodness. It'd be like going from Melbourne, Victoria, where B lives, over to where Amy lives in WA. It's like two and a half days drive. Um, yeah, so that, that's the length of our country, whereas you guys are <laughs> a lot bigger, a lot bigger. <sighs> okay. Now, um, what did I do here? I did his ears are red as well. Just crimson like. And 90% warm grey. And a rosy beige or something. Beige Sienna 1080. Now his eyes, I actually put green in there, I probably, I don't know, I might have made it see through onto the grass, I'm not, not too sure what I did there. His teeth. Well actually I'll do his eyes, 20% warm grey. And then 90% warm grey, 1058. Maybe a bit of a uh, don't know if I like that. Base here, see. No. French grey 1074, 70% French grey. And 
and then we'll do the silver. His nose, they can be dark as well. <coughs> Mixing all my pencils up here now, but it doesn't matter. Um, well, it does because I'm using them for the bones. Just a little bit on his teeth. 20% warm grey. Then put a bit of blood on his teeth if you want. Let that stand out a bit more. He's got his tongue there and then he's got a bit of gum. And then put a bit of blood on his tooth. Right, don't get those mixed up. That's for the bones. Now back to the back. Um, I don't know what colours I was using. Oh. That was a dull blue that I was using, maybe a pyramid pool, something like that. There's nothing bright. And just a little bit of the, I suppose, yeah, I suppose the moon, just got a loose hair there. I think sand might do. Hello, Molly. Welcome. Thank you for being here, girl. Um, I'm going to throw a video at you. Probably more than that. I have to have a bit. Stop with this riding in the car. Yeah, it's pretty jarring. I can't do sitting in the car at the moment. It's uncomfortable. It's at home. It's at Alrighty, where's my thing though? I hope that's clear. No, I won't be using that. Hope that looks clear. All right, now for the bat. Hey, <laughs> Molly. <laughs> 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 
All right, now I've picked a few colours. Just haven't got something really dark. Use the indigo. Oh, Jinxie, quiet. In the back. All right, a bit of sand 940 to start off with, just a little bit of reflection from the moon. Oh, let me look at this one. I did the same on that one. On his wing on the top of his head. I don't know. Goodness me. It's good when you got a reference. Yeah, down there. Just a little, just a little bit. On the down that side, but I don't really think too much moon would come on. Okay, I have picked now. Show you this. How blue that is. That one's a rock. And they're both okay. I don't want anything too uh, bright. Fifty percent cool grey, one oh six three. funny but I keep wanting to look back at that other picture for reference <laughs> I don't know what color I did his ears no, I did them just dark I'm going to bang the wall in a minute I don't know whether they're gone out and if they haven't, well, shut him up. I think that's a bit of brick work in there. Doesn't matter. Or yeah, I might do that. Any colour that's dark. I think that's brickwork through there. Oh, yes, I hear him now. Um, but how do you wash and dry the white blanket? Yeah, I'm going to lose it with him in a minute. <laughs> I 
40% more gray. Seventy per cent French grey. Use that a fair bit in this picture. Uh, I keep wanting to look at this one. Periwinkle 1025. A little bit indigo. And 90% warm grey. Back to the periwinkle. Oops, not indigo. Warm grey. So he's got blue highlights, but he will be dark. Dude, stay quiet. <laughs> Bit of indigo there. Yeah. Maybe I should pick up more. Um, let's see how this glue goes. Oh, that's not too bad. 50% um, cool grey. Oh, my. Right ears burn on a bit. <laughs> I guess it would depend on what's here. I'm not sure. But just check Amazon. Just throw mine in the washer and dryers. It'd be good. Now, and we've got Amazon Prime or whatever it is coming up a few days and after last night. And it's like, yeah, and I could have gone and bought art supplies. Not that I need any art supplies, but. No. I thought he'd shut up. <laughs> so I think that'll be my main colours. 50% cool grey, 106.3. Uh, 90% uh, warm grey, 105.8. Bit of indigo, 
one uh, 901 and a little bit of periwinkle 1025 they will be my, my, my main colors now for the highlights I did a bit of sand which is 940 and I've got a couple of other pencils here but I don't know if I'll use them Mediterranean blue I think I'll put away blue violet lake not sure and maybe a bit of 30% cool grey 1061 I'm not sure about those two but these will be my main four Gotcha, mine must just be the insert on the acrylic blanket. Yeah, his nose, just a warm grey. Not sure if I did red on his nose. But just a little bit of warm grey under his lip, just for a bit of. Shady. Yeah, I quite like those colours so far. And the ninety percent warm grey, and then using the periwinkle over the top is pretty good together. And I'm just darkening up between his back of his neck. I want his ear to stand out too. All right, so done that there, done that there. The cat, the bat, the mat, <laughs> and the cat sat on the mat. Said Belinda, <laughs> "Where's my was All of my words are heavy for me." <laughs> Talking about big, heavy blankets, there, guys. There. Yeah what fun it is to wash them i had a beautiful dolphin blanket um a mink blanket and it was so big and heavy and i hated folding it up and then when i moved here i had it for years and it was really hot to use and i ended up when i, I thought i can't keep all this where am i going to keep it i hardly use it I would only use it over winter. Uh, I took it to the op shop. Yeah, I took it, I think I took it to the op shop. I got rid of it anyway, which was really hard to do. Didn't want to get rid of it. about adding another colour in there but I'll try not to
got a lot of grey here which I need to do for the lighter areas otherwise it'll just be a black or a mess or just blending on each other too much and bats are pretty much black and dark brown in colour so I'm trying not to put too much colour in there Mainly just highlights, really. Now the hardest part, which I've been thinking about doing on picture, is this map and the moon coming through and how I'm going to go about that so I've got the blues under there and then the warm grey on top The folds of his wings make them stand out as well from the rest of him. I know, it's hard be, isn't it? Oh, when you got stuff like that, yeah, you can't just <laughs> put it in the car. Take it aside. I know. It's understandable. But it's when you like downsizing when I moved here and um, having to bite the bullet and get rid of stuff and because you just can't store it all. It's ridiculous. And it's so hard to get rid of stuff. I had to bite the bullet with a few things and it's like, oh. Oh, I paid heaps for that, or oh. yeah, really hard. Did the other bat with no reference, and now that I've done him, I find it hard. <laughs> Keep wanting to go and look. Let's see how I did the other one. So I hope he's turning out okay. Making the covers, joining two King single covers together. The bed is two King single 
beds together. <laughs> They're trying to buy um, stuff for certain size beds and everything can be a right raw pain. <laughs> Indigo and the warm grey together. I'm not sure I get, get the right one because they're, they're pretty similar. <laughs> Lucky you can say. <laughs> um, I had a hot chocolate this morning. Well, it's not hot anymore. Alrighty. A bit more of this battle axe. Now there's a bit more of the bat to, to go. Let's put a bit of grey on there. So I'll do the rest off stream to get that done. So I've got the cat, the bat, and now for the biggest task of all. Is this rotten mat. Now, I'm going to decide what colour Sorry guys um, I'll do the rest of him off stream But this mat down here I'll bring up the where are we? Wakey wakey Ghoulie aren't it looking ghoulish? Not pan on my tilt. Oops, I have to have zoom on for that. Oh my. <laughs> now this map. So I've got the moon coming through. It's a full moon. And by rights, these, because the moon, I mean, it could be front on, it could be an angle. And you've got these two beams. And if I do the two beams just at a slight angle, I don't have to look funny. And by rights, the window sill is dimensional. I haven't got much shading under it to say that it pops out, but this, the moon wouldn't be up against the wall. It would be out here somewhere. So if I've just got these two lines going through, I don't know. Hi, Lulu. Thank you for being here, darling. I'm loving this, Heather. It's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How's yours going? Look at it. looks so talented. Oh, thank you, Pam. Um, I'm pretty happy with it actually, it looks pretty cool. Um, and her on screen, her outfit and everything, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and then you've got the, a bit of like, got the colour of the mat and then you've got the yellow and I was just thinking whether I should do Posca pen over the top, a bit of wash over the top. And what colour am I going to do the mat? <laughs> and as you can see, I had a pussy cat 
that's been outside. We've had a lot of rain and we've got clay soil. So he came inside straight across the table and onto the book. So I've got some dirty marks here, which is there's two pets, so that's okay. That just fits in perfectly. <laughs> but I don't know what colour to do the map. You would need a wall shadow too, I guess. Well, if that's set, if that is set in under, like if the the if the window is dimensional, which I haven't really put a lot of shadow around it, but if that was dimensional and that came through down onto the you wouldn't be able to that would, that's underneath so the moon wouldn't shine on that um, and as far as I'm concerned that, that bit up there is definitely not good that, that's off the picture <laughs> that is not going on the picture um, <laughs> that's out here somewhere in Never Never Land <laughs> blue Up by Kitty. <laughs> Get on your Lulu, yes, it was. <laughs> Clay footprints all across the table. All right, blues. What kind of blue? Maybe a bit the same as the bat. Like dull blues, not, nothing real bright. Dull, dull colours. Um... blue now I'm sort of thinking the same color the same colors as I use for the bat I love it it's wicked <laughs> hey Sherry thank you for being here the page is stunning thank you very much dark blue Forgot. It's been a long busy day. How are you doing? That's all right, Sherry. I hope you had a good day. Thank you very much. I like her hair. Like her hair. You don't reckon that would be too much on this side and not this side? I suppose it's on that side too, so it balances out. I see there's blue there and that there, and a tiny bit of blue there, but not much. So I don't know if you reckon that's balanced or not. Um, all right, hang on, I'll have to get my book. Where are you, Gouliana? Here she is. Black, non photo blue, cerulean blue, and ultramarine. It will balance out. Orange brown colour. Looks like you're losing out here, Pam. <laughs> Agree, B. Hey, maybe has anyone else heard what happened to Laura? So no. Oh, wrong, oh, Sherry, <laughs> wrong name, <laughs> oh dear, all right, um, which one's a black, what was using it for the back? Caribbean see it's the wrong one. Non photo blue. So black. 
black non photo blue, cerulean blue. Just like everyone. Turn on. Where is it? Don't you just love that? Cobalt, even turquoise, blue, I can hang it, alright, I know that, alright, no, no, oh there's cerulean, um, alright, black, Non photo blue, cerulean blue, and I want the ultramarine. I don't know, it's not them. Where is it? Where is it? Now, if I put <laughs> Oh, to have you pass away. <gasps> oh. Colour my world, her hubby passed away. Oh, that is sad. I'm sending condolences. Oh, that's sad. Was it COVID? That's right, yeah. It's awful. And I know that sound, I know it might sound awful as well, but one of the reasons why I would never get in a relationship again, just the, the heartache. Um, it's just, there. Yeah. Wasn't sure how many of you knew. No. Um, now, this stupid, see, this is why I left this till last. <laughs> Because the yellow on the green, the yellow on the blue is going to make it green. So, don't you reckon there should be some? I don't know. Which, yeah. So the mat's going to be really bright, like her hair. Um. <laughs> and you reckon I should do it dark to light or light to dark? Like in the go. 37 years. 33 for you, Sherry. Dark, dark blue. Dark to light. So dark from the outside to light on the inside.
Oh, that's not a fire eye blue. Oh, I'll do that. I'll just do the base. Now, this rotten moon. Um, it's something like that. I don't want to go too far in. And then like I said, I've got the yellow. Alright, I'll do it the easy way and I'll do the outside. And work my way into the hard bit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Congratulations to all of you. There's a lot of years in there. It's been a wild ride, <laughs> 28 years, together married 23. Aww. I'm going to put a light layer of black. So I did cerulean blue and now I'm going to do black, just lightly. Oh, my ears are burning. Bugger off. <laughs> Dark and shadow. Alrighty. Now for ultramarine. You're not dark, you're going to get dark. Oh my god, my ears. Pretty hot. That's nice colour though. So I did um non photo blue lightly, then black lightly, and then I'm going heavy with the ultramarine. That's a beautiful colour. I know, just make sure I'm on screen then. Disney is waiting. Somebody must be talking about you, but I know. Give us some juicy details. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, the stories are so funny. Yeah, she tells them. <laughs> Talking about that. No. Um, not much has happened this week. I've been hibernating. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you being silly? Sorry guys, hang on. I'm being naughty. I've got a um, lady that's got a couple of birthdays this month, but this lady's turning 59. I don't know if it's actually today or not, but few people are going over to the clubhouse bringing some food and that about 4.30 so I've got over for a while
there are a few guys too that go, no, I don't like that, that now, you're in trouble. Excellent stories for next week. <laughs> um, last week. Um, was it last week? Well, a few days ago, whenever I went over to the clubhouse for a coffee with a couple of people, and that was at school holidays, so they had a couple of people in the pool, um, in the indoor pool, not the, you know, pool cue pool, and apparently, um, well, we, I don't know. They opened the sliding door and opened the side emergency door. And Chris said, are they smoking? And I said, I don't know. I don't think so. I hope not. And then eventually he went in there and he reckons the guy was going like this on the ground. I don't know whether it was true or not, but apparently. So I don't know whether he was actually smoking or not. So I went for a walk in there and made an excuse. I walked through and I went out the sliding door to test, to put my hand in the outdoor, out, outdoor pool and I couldn't smell smoke in there. But I tell you what, if people are gonna do that, they need to be ripped. Um, it's not too hard to go outside, even though it's winter, to have a cigarette. And I'm a smoker, but people, don't have to put up with, you know, that the smell of that. So that was one thing. And then I was talking to a girlfriend last night and apparently because it's too cold, someone's been vaping in the the pool queue room and in the ladies' toilets. Because it's too cold outside. And then just I'd love to catch them. And I'm not a real stickler for rules, but I do have respect for the clubhouse, the community facilities, and respect for others that don't smoke and don't want to be, you know, smelling that. And it's just like, bloody self-centred, selfish sons of bitches. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know when I get to the centre of this mat, I'm going to do it off stream. Because if I stuff it up and I swear and curse, you won't hear me. <laughs> oh, Kimmy. Say goodbye to everyone. I had to go to bed. It was really bad. Oh, bye, darling. Yeah. It is rude. Yeah, I know, I know, it is lazy, it's rude, it's inconsiderate, selfish, and it peeves, peeves me off. Now, number 16, page 16, as far as I know, I, I'm pretty sure she said it was towards the front of the book and we had a quick look last week, but Kimmy has put in a request and she even knows what colours she wants it to be. So, I am going to get in contact with her and find out exactly what colours she wants. And next week it will be Mythic World. And it's going to be this octopus. So, or a kraken. I should say a kraken. 
But anyway, so that's that's by request. That's what's going to be next week. I'm just looking. There's marks on my page, but that'll be coloured. But anyway, that's what's going. That's that's what's happening next week. <laughs> what water media? Is that the one? Yeah, I'm respectful around people who don't smoke, and I pick up my cigarette butts and uh, water media. No, I don't know. She said what colours, but the way she was talking, I'd say it was prismas, but I'll find out all that sort of stuff, hopefully, by next week. Is that the one? I think so. Uh oh, cat sat on the MacBook. <laughs> I think so. Uh, when we were chatting, she said towards the front of the book. And I, I can look through the whole book. I think that's I think that's the one. I have to have another look. Looking at the names, I think that's the only octopus, I'm not sure. Or Kraken. I'll make sure anyway, but anyway, next week it will be that book, and I think it's that picture. And Pam, you're still here? Yes, um, you do kill me. <laughs> Yeah, she said that last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Wes? Um, yeah, Pam, you use playing House of Fun because I started playing that rotten game again. I sit on the couch at night time. I did a bit of colouring during the day and then it's like that night and it's like I should be colouring and I'm sitting on the couch playing that bloody game. But if you are, I haven't got you on my, I don't know why it's not showing, um, it was only showing one friend in there. Why am I giving me bloody coins? I don't know, why won't it give me any coins? <laughs> um, yeah, I've been sending you some free spins or coins or something. Just saying. You can tell I'm sort of dawdling because I've got to tackle this bloody center of the map. And I'm happy with this picture, so I don't want to stuff it up. Flying, run, this is one pencil. It's really hard to get um, a perfectly smooth line. It, um, yeah, you just tends to, I don't know why. But you're all right. Um, I'm going to sit on the mat again, check his feet. <laughs> Those two enables, I had to get the book. Oh, yes. I don't play that game either. Oh, okay, you don't play it. I showed you something. Did you, you used to play it. Um, I gave up a couple of times. I have to tell you guys, I got the uh, pencils recently and they are awesome. Ah! Yes, oh, I'm not into pop manga and yet Kimmy enabled me and it was the dragon ones and it, they had some really cute pictures in it. Now, this next one.
views that one. I'm going to do the same again. God, if it's not one bloody dog next door, it's the ones over the back. All right, so I'm using non-photo blue first. A light coat of black. Again, I didn't do much shadow or any shadow there. Just a little bit. Now, because I used ultramarine on the outside, so I've done the same again, light coat of black, and then cerulean blue. And I mean, the whole place is dirty and old and bloodied and stained and everything, so. A few marks. Might hurt. Now, I just. You got pets. You got pets, you have stains on your carpet. That's a known fact. <laughs> Oh, sugar. Get on there. Alright, <clears throat> now, I've got three blues, and the third one, is going to be not a photo blue, Light coat of black. And then Back to the long final blue. And if you turn around going, nah, don't like the blue on the mat now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we wanted blue, we got blue. Said dark, not dark. Dirty stained, yucky old carpet. <coughs> I just 
stick it would be a bit weird if it was nice carpet. And everything else got blood stains and god knows what and pet paws and real pet paws. <coughs> Where's leave the oh no the door's not open. Why do you have what is yes the ties have come off the back of the papa son and when he wants to go out he climbs over it so the papa son cushion slips forward and then he just sits there. Yeah, animals. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I hope you think that that. I suppose it's all right, balancing out. I guess so. And then for the centre, I'm just going to use. Well, maybe I should do. I'll put that up, I know. Um, see how it goes. Yeah, that's not too bad. Twenty percent cool grey, one oh six oh. Maybe think of even maybe a slightly darker colour. Yeah, I should leave it this blue. Go slightly darker. What do you think? A bit darker, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I blame. Oh no, I don't intend to. <laughs> I think I blame us if you don't like it. <laughs> not sure. I'm not sure. Um. Um. House of Fun. Here comes the brat pack. Oh, I can tell you guys, I've got the arts pants and they're awesome. What game? Yeah, House of Fun. I've been hearing they are good, Sherry. Um, I do a review if you want to know more. I didn't get that one yet. Get out of it. You tip them up everywhere. No, go away. <laughs> no. Shut up the door, you'll go outside. Um, I didn't get that one yet, Hella. Uh, I think my favourite off this pick, honestly, is that brickwork. Go away, leave it. I'm going to open the door and let him out. So I just doesn't tip my pencils everywhere. Go. And after his incident with all that clay footprints and everything, I put an old towel down. So when he walks in, it takes some of it off, takes the excess off. All right. Um, I didn't get that one. Yep, one yet. Oh, you mean the pop mango one? I think my favourite this pit is that brickwork. That is Sherry. They're good pencils. Um, I'll watch it, Sherry. I'm interested to see. What game? Yep, pairs of fun. You can share your channel details. No, I don't mind, Sherry. It's all right. Uh, what stains? 
It's my cap, it's grey tones. Those who don't like it. Where'd that go? Oh. Do you think he did it, baby? So far, I have been parts of it before, but like the L part. I <laughs> love the carpet, laugh out loud. <laughs> Yeah, he really wants to sit on that mat. <laughs> yeah. uh. All right, so I'm thinking maybe that blue is just a bit too light. Yeah, I'm thinking a bit of periwinkle. And get rid of that grey. I just think it's a bit too light. Well, I'm mixing all the pencils up now and I didn't write them down. Okay. So... 30% warm grey. I better write this down. I'm mixing all my pencils up now. I'll figure it out for the bat and the cat. <laughs> um, the mat. All right. 30% um, warm grey. One oh five two. Periwinkle. One eight two five and non photo blue. Nine one nine. It's always about pretty scary stuff. Some people are really terrible. Oh, B. So it's a true story. Yes, people are. The girl in the the girl in the picture. It was sad, and I left a lot out that happened to her. Yeah, real crime. Um, don't know if I know about that one. I'm pretty hard with this other one. That's all right. It's good actually. I can vary it up a little bit. It just looks like a stain. <laughs> Another stain. Oh, I'm always about stray man, but I'm getting hungry and I can feel some eggs on toast. Poached eggs, avocado. Bit of grated parmesan, oh, parmesan cheese on top. 
Yep, I'm hungry. Oh, look, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I want to go around these bloodstones too. Might have to get a darker grey pencil just to do a bit of shadow under his foot. Damn shame. I've, I've streamed for two hours. And I've got a bit of the map to go. <laughs> and you won't get to see, see this if I muck it up. But if you want to see the finished product, it will be on my Facebook page and it will be on Instagram. And I have to go around the bloodstones too. It looks like an old bloodstone. More stones. <laughs> and I've got to work my way around the bloodstone that I've done as well. Anyway. Hi, view. <laughs> oh, just about to go. Okay, I'll start after staircase. Netflix. Oh, okay, yep. Um, it's about Franklin Delano, and I wonder if you can get it on YouTube. It's about Franklin Delano and a girl named Sharon Marshall, who later found out was someone else. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait, Heather. Um, <laughs> Sherry, <laughs> I will do the replay, no worries. <laughs> there are stories on YouTube, Heather. All right, like I haven't got enough to do. Like that other thing, that I've still got that written down. Um, Amy's crypt. <laughs> All right, hang on, what is it? Uh, Franklin Delano. Sounds like something out of a mafia. Okay. There we go. You are almost finished too. Nice. <laughs> yes, I've just got to finish off the bat, which is not much to go. Finish, finish the bat, the cat, and the mat. <laughs> um. Now what I do, I know what I'm doing with that.
Oh, by the way, for my Aussie friends, I saw Marmite today in one of my grocery stores. <laughs> Yep, that's right. The bat, the cat, and the mat. <laughs> okay, like I have to go to dinner, organise, and do shopping. Yes, um, I need to go to and do a couple of things and have something to eat and gonna have a shower for this afternoon. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna take, so I better get thinking about that. I've got have got some dip in that there. I might take, but if everyone else takes dip, so I'm not sure yet. Um. Thank you for being here, everyone. Sent bye. Have a great one, ladies. You guys too. Take care of yourselves. I will finish the bat, the cat, and the mat off stream, and we'll see how the mat turns out. It's not like I haven't done moon reflections in that before. Um, it's just that I'd like to do it right because I'm pretty happy with this actually. Um, it's pretty cool. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Glad to have you all here, and you're the guy. You're the people that really make it. Um, take care. Have a lovely week, and I shall talk to you all next week. As far as I know. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Bye.